Hello, welcome to a very exciting creature tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to introduce to you the brand new, very fancy smart AI rig feature for Creature Pro Windows. Now, before we start, let's give let's start with some background about why this feature is so exciting. Yeah, so I am going to bring up some screenshots of tools that have what they call auto rigging features. That is, you have a you know you have a humanoid rig, and you place these markers on your character, and the goal is to let the software automatically rig up your character if you provided you placed those markers onto your character, right? So that's what you call auto rigging in many kinds of 3D software. This is predominantly a feature of 3D software. So I'm very happy to announce that Creature now has a variation of this feature that is normally reserved for high-end 3D tools in 2D. So that's the, the number one first exciting reason why this tutorial is really cool. The other really cool thing about this tutorial is it goes beyond what those software can do. So these soft, these auto-rigging features of, of various 3D software, they still require the user to actually place the markers the, or the bone positions on the character. Now what if we could actually let AI or using deep learning to actually figure out the bone positions or the limb positions of the character automatically for you. That would be fantastic, right? And even if the AI couldn't get it 100% correct, it would be fantastic if it could get you somewhere in the region of you know, a very high probability of being correct. So you can just sort of refine or fix the markers that are incorrect. So that will save you a lot of time, right? So let's get to it. Now we have a character over here and I'm going to use the new smart AI rig feature to rig it up for you. So we go into rigging mode, right? And click on bone mode. And then I click on run rig template and you'll see smart AI rig. Now the first time you run it, it's going to ask you to download data onto your local folder. So just follow the instructions to install the Smart AI Rig data and then click on it to start Smart AI Rig. So welcome to Smart AI Rig. And when you first load it up, you'll see a convenient T-pose that has been placed onto your character. So to start off, let's start doing this the old school or the manual way. So I can make the UI node sizes large and small by dragging the slider. And let's just manually place how, you know, you know I would think you would place the limbs of a character. So you just move, just drag these nodes into, into place, right? Let's do it for the different parts of the body. And there you have it, okay? So this is the manual way of doing things using the smart AI rig. It's still auto rigging, still saves you lots of time. And when you're done with it, you can just move your mouse over to create rig and it will actually just create this rig and wait for you automatically. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so that's the manual way, which you are probably familiar with in other, other applications, other 3D software. Let me reset the pose. And now we're going to use the AI to help us place the bones of the character. So are you ready for it? Let's move the mouse over to auto AI rig and click on it. It's computing and we should get the result. There you go. <laughs> and that's the result. Look at that. That's pretty cool, huh? So it doesn't get everything correct. You just need to move the ones it couldn't get correct into place. And there you have it. Look at that. That's quite impressive, right? It's mostly gotten most of the joints in place. It's identified correctly the left and right ankles, the knees, the wrists, and even the head and shoulders. It's got most of those correct. So once you're happy with that, just move your mouse over to create rig and click OK. And there you go. That's our rig. And it's placed all the bones nicely for you. It's named them as well. We can also test the different bones. So we can you can see it's all rigged properly for you. Right? So you can start using this for animation. This this was animate this was actually rigged in no time at all. This was using the power of AI to actually help you rig your character. You notice that the the bones are actually placed correctly, and that's very impressive given the fact that the AI could actually identify the different hips, joints, limbs of the bones just by your single by your image, by a single image. So that's quite impressive. All right, we're going to go through more samples. Let's try the smart AI rig on a couple of other 
rigs as well. So here I have a soldier character which you've seen in the other demos. I'm gonna run it through Smart AI Rig and see what we get. So again, by default there's the T-Pose. I'm gonna click Auto AI Rig. Let's see what we get. Let's see what the AI gives us. It's trying to identify the limbs and head up. Oh, okay, there you go, it's done. And let's see, let's see what it's, it's managed to resolve, right? So you notice it's missed the pelvis and maybe the R knee. But other than that, it's actually mostly there. It's even identified the fact that the hand is holding the gun. It's not even confused by that. It actually re realizes that the R wrist and L wrist are placed on the gun. It's not confused by that image, so you can actually mix and match images, and the AI will actually distinguish them. And it's done a really good job identifying the top parts of the body. The thorax, the L shoulder, R shoulder are all placed correctly, and actually the R ankle, left ankle are also placed correctly, right? So this character is almost good to go. Basically, you just click Create Rig, and it will rig and weigh it for you. Let's go through more examples. Okay, so let's try a more difficult example. So I'm going to run Auto AI Rig on this guy and see what we get. Okay, so you can see the AI has missed a couple things, unfortunately, but it's it's saved you a lot of time because it's actually gotten most of the different joints correct, right? It's basically just missed the the wrist, the R wrist and the portion at the R hip. It's missed about three joints, pelvis, R wrist, and R, R, R hip, right? But it's got, gotten the rest of it correct. It wasn't even confused by the long braidy hair. So that's great. And it got the shoulder, the other parts of the L shoulder, L, L wrist joints correct. All right, let's move on to the next example. Okay, so here's a final example. We're going to run auto AI rig on this character and see what we get. Right. So as you can see, it got the R ankle slightly, well, off. <laughs> and we have to move the pelvis back. But other than that, it's actually correct. So the right part of the limbs, it got the R knee and R ankle in the wrong place and the pelvis. But it actually identified correctly the rest of the character, especially the upper body, the left and right wrists, elbows, and all that, shoulders are all correct. It even slunts them correctly based on the character pulls, which is really cool. And it was not confused by the staff of the character that he was carrying. So in general, this feature allows you to save quite a bit of time automatically rigging up humanoid characters if you want to quickly get something up and running. So I hope you enjoy this feature. It's a really cutting edge advanced feature that we're introducing into Creature Pro Windows and look for more updates in the future as we continue to refine it. Thanks for watching.